They teach you in school about taking care of your brushes. So I cleaned these last night, and I like to start with all my brushes in the jar. And then I pick out what I need. My name is Teresa Browngold, and I am 56 years old. I have been many things. Before I was a co-owner of a restaurant, I understood that there was an art to business, but I wasn't really interested in it. So I said, well, what do I like? And I studied art in my 20s, and I thought, I'm going to go back to it. I have given myself the title of documentary portrait painter. I take a social issue like war, immigration. Right now I'm working on health insurance. And I interview people. I find out what their story is. What does health insurance mean in their lives? I write the story out, and I paint a painting, a portrait. This is Joanne Wallace. I turned 65 December of 2010. And for the last 18 years before that, I had no insurance. She agreed to have her portrait painted by me and tell me her story. It's very frightening when you got to hand out $75, $125, and then you got to decide, do I get medicine if I need it? Because there were months I didn't get my medicine. The idea is to create a complete landscape of the American healthcare system as it is felt by the people who have to use it or who cannot access it. This is my dining room, and this is where I store a lot of the paintings. They're big, and they're getting to be quite numerous, so the house is overrun with my portraits. <laughs> I have studied the technical side of painting, and I rely on it a lot. Um, however, I trust my intuition more than anything. When I saw the picture that she drew of me, I was taken back because she asked me to express in one word what I saw. And what I saw was empty. And that's how you feel. When you are dragged through the mud, as they say, and you're at the end of your rope, you don't know where to go. And that's how I felt, empty. I will keep painting the subject of health insurance until it becomes a non-issue. She gave me back the feeling of, you're not alone, and don't give up. And that's what you need. When I started painting at 50, I said, good, you know, maybe I can get 40 years of this. That's another whole career and a half. So I will be a painter for the rest of my life. As long as there are stories to tell, I'd like to tell them through paint.